What's up, everyone? So I'm going to be getting the car ready for inspection. I uh, have a few little things to get sorted out. Um, I need to put the rear reverse lights back on. I have to find the other one. Have it somewhere put up. I uh, need to double check my uh, my brakes. Um, we already have the driveway cleared out to take it out and you know cruise it down the street. It'll be the first time in years since this car has been out. Um, I may put the battery centered here in the back. I did buy a battery charger and this is the old one I've been using. And uh, this is a little small $30, $35 one I bought from uh, Home Depot. So battery has a low charge and it's it's a pain in the butt to, to pull it out from this back. This is how I have it set up. So that's where I had cut that piece to slide the battery in and out. Uh, before, when I got this car, uh, whoever owned it, they cut off the uh, those struts, the reinforcement struts, and I went out a long time ago and bought some some pipe and welded that in. But uh, yeah, so we need to get the reverse lights back on. Uh, double check all signal lights work in the front and in the back emergency lights everything that's listed for inspection here in texas um horn works uh side viewers work so pretty much all the little stuff get it ready so i can send it to the paint shop and be ready for texas 2k here in texas so um, I think that's pretty much it. Also found the problem with the heated, uh, the coolant being a little bit too high. I did have a hose right there. That back side hose was touching the, the manifold and it made a little hole and started leaking out. So that's pretty much it. Not too sure what else. All my fluids are good. Transmission, uh, brake and clutch. Coolant. Um, so it's, it's a matter of just time, just getting it ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge up the battery and get it turned on. So I checked my signal lights. Uh, I'm gonna have to go buy some new turn signals for the front. And I need to figure out why the, uh, the signal light for the left turn on the gauge cluster isn't bleaking. Uh, it, I may have, uh, when I cleaned up the gauge cluster, I might have not put the uh, little light bulb on right. So I'm gonna check that out. Went ahead and pulled out the car from the garage to make sure everything's running up, running good and uh, came into a small problem. This fittings for my power steering and I have a small leak somewhere around around the edge. I'm gonna go ahead and TIG, TIG weld that up here in just a few minutes. Pulled it all out and when I got out of the car, left the trail. Also had a coolant leak coming from the from the lower radiator hose from the neck of the clamp and went ahead and got that tightened up it wasn't tightened up all the way so yeah all the fluid sprayed all over I thought it was the little cooler I have 
turned on the car, but nothing was leaking from the from the fittings. I may replace that Teflon tape with the the glue I have. But uh, this is what um what I have for the power steering. So for this process, I'm gonna TIG weld this fitting. Um, did find the hole, it's very, very tiny, right on that edge, little tiny hole, and it was bleeding out. So I'm gonna TIG weld it with some ER70 S6 filler wire. And again, this is for the power steering um, upper hose that connects to the pump. Uh, I did cut it off and made my own uh, custom lines. I had a double-sided like brake line, brake fitting. I had cut the end off. This is a different one. This is not the size I'm using. I believe this one is a dash eight AN. And I had MIG welded. So now I'm gonna TIG weld it. When I did MIG, I, I didn't have my TIG machine at that time. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that up. Probably have the temperature, the heat around 60 to 75 on the machine. And I uh, used acetone to clean up the surface and a stainless steel brush. Not that one. And uh, here we go.